Hey guys, Tagisugi here, here with a new game called House Flippers. It's actually a beta period for this game, uh, so that's like the main thing they wanted to <laughs> stress here. The game's improving. Uh, but yeah, I've been into renovating my kitchen recently with my girlfriend Kim, and uh, we've really had a good time doing that, and I, I do, I'm getting older, maybe it's like my older tastes and I'm getting mature, or maybe it is like, like just a general sense of oldness. But I do enjoy stuff like Fixer Upper on the HGTV and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, this this game seemed like it would appeal to me. Like I like the concept of designing a house or renovating a house, changing it around. And this game kind of caught my attention because we're in the process of doing that. So renovating one the real <laughs> renovating in real life, and also you know renovating on a video game. Why not, right? Double the work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this this is a lot more easy. This is a lot more easy than doing it in real life. Uh, I can say that. Um, so here I am, just getting used to the controls, and uh, you know, I take a look at the menu and all that kind of stuff. It's got it's got quite a few things in the game. I feel like they could just grow and grow and grow with the things they do, and I really found it pretty fascinating. Like everything about this game. Um, you know, it's not the most well optimized yet, uh, and that's probably the main reason they go for that whole it's a beta kind of, it's a beta kind of fallback kind of, um, you know, net. So yeah, they do, they do hide behind the whole beta thing, but you know, for a, for a beta, it's not that bad. Um, I do various things in this video, like I do demolition. Demolition is when the optimization feels pretty bad. Uh, it gets a lot, a lot of crawl and slow down. I mean, I have a 1080 Ti, but I could imagine someone with a, with a lower graphics card, a weaker graphics card, having difficulties loading at some points. Uh, and this is with me doing software recording as well. I'm not using like a capture card or anything like that. I use OBS, uh, but there is some slowdown in the game, so it's a beta, and they're still work in progress. I'm sure they're gonna try and iron that out. Uh, no release date on this game as of yet. Uh, but yeah, I did enjoy this. It's a slow-paced kind of game. You feel like you're a contractor, and I don't think you really get the sense that you're a contractor going into it initially. Like, you feel like you're maybe just going to be redesigning homes, making homes. <laughs> but that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like a contractor simulator, but you eventually can end up buying houses and selling houses. And uh, there's actually a skill system in this game, and that genuinely surprised me. Like, so there's, I think there's basically three tier structures. There's demo, uh, there's cleaning. <laughs> yeah, cleaning is actually a perk in this game. And uh, there's painting. The painting perk, painting I felt like was one of the most therapeutic things about the games, uh, about the game here. And I felt like it was the most engaging part um, because when it came to like the demo, you could upgrade your hammer, but it didn't really explicitly tell you what the hammer did um, upgrading the tool. So I, I had no clue what I was doing. You could upgrade your muscle with the demo, and that didn't really say what I was doing either. Was it going to just like shatter the, the more spaces or, uh, you know, knock it down in one hit compared to the others? I feel like it was probably knock it down in one hit. And uh, swing speed, of course, but there's no real stamina when it comes to demoing, so, uh, you know, sp swing speed, I guess, is okay. And painting, you had paint speed, uh, you had paint conservation, which I didn't feel like really mattered, uh, except with when it came to, like, refilling your bucket, uh, refilling your roller, actually, uh, and, you know, maybe conserving the bucket a little bit more. But the, the monetary gains and losses in this game feel arbitrary, in a way. Like, you don't feel like you're struggling for money. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of work room to work with, I think, uh, to balance out the whole uh, monetization element of the game, like how much money you have to work with to buy houses to to earn with, and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting game. I really enjoy it. Uh, it does have tedious things, like I said. Some, sometimes, you know, installing these radiators, for instance, uh, is pretty tedious. Uh, for the most part, though, I, I did enjoy it. I felt like the music was relaxing. The music got a little bit repetitive. I mean, maybe they could throw in a little bit more in terms of soundtrack. Uh, but music didn't aggravate me or anything. I actually felt it was pretty soothing and relaxing. It's kind of a relaxing game. That was what I was going for. Uh, you know, I've, I've been trying to play stuff like Monster Hunter World 
and uh, you know I do stressful games like Overwatch. I, I don't know why I play stressful games nowadays. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Overwatch really gets me riled up sometimes, uh, but sometimes I still enjoy. It. I enjoy playing Overwatch with my girlfriend and my other friends. And uh, Lost Saga, I of course still do Lost Saga. I enjoy playing Lost Saga very casually. It's it's a it's a hoot still to me. <laughs> but yeah, I like little little small time games nowadays. I'm getting a little in that weird indie kind of habit right now where I'm enjoying indie games. And uh, this is one of the games that appealed to me because of my current project with my kitchen. We actually did my living room recently, and it turned out fantastic. Uh, I'll probably show some pictures here in this video. Well, I'll, I'll show you right now. So. so here's our kitchen before. You can see it looked pretty crummy, pretty terrible, right? It's pretty awful. <laughs> and here's where we have a little bit of progress. Looking better, looking better. And here's where we're getting towards the completion. We're not quite all the way done, but you can see the new counters. Uh, the new tile is already getting in place. We still have to seal it. We have a butcher block to put on the countertop over there as well, which is going to look re really, really nice. But yeah, it's coming along great. My girlfriend Kim's done an amazing job. She's a genius. So here's a few minor gripes I actually had with the game. The lighting, the day and night cycle, really throws off the inner lighting to such an extent where it's just terrible. And I see why they added the flashlight to the game as a result of that. It really made things um, kind of unpleasant, but you know, it's just one of those things that they can probably iron out and fix kind of quicker. Uh, also, the, um, the typos. <laughs> The typos and the little quests you get basically for the letters. Like take this, I'm gonna read this one to you guys. So, hello, oh hello my dear. I'm so happy that you offer me your help with house flipping. I hope your offer is still actual. Oh, you can't say no to that cool person like me, right? So it looks like that about a month ago I moved to my cousin house. She is, oh god why, artist. Her artistic soul order herself to live and house what looks like a what looks like Christmas tree. OMG, really? Because of this wall's colors, my eyes cry so hard, and I'm angry so hard. Oh, I'm angry that my face is angry all the time, and I'm so frowning that even I can that e that I even can get wrinkles. It will be terrible. We have to do something with it. You knew my sweet kitty, have to help me with it. You have to recolor all the walls with normal colors before my cousin back from Ternay. Toned and quiet color will be awesome. You know what I like, heart. Also, I have so big supplication for you. I lived in this house that long as I lived and I'm still misleded, misleaded by these doors. Change doors who lead to saloon with sliding one so I will know in future which one door is which one. Thanks you for everything, heart. And be fast, please. You have to done our little flip before my cousin back. Kisses, Michael Brand. Nani? So yeah, there's definitely some, uh, some intrigue behind the text in the game. Um, that adds a little flavor, but it can become nonsensical. It's obviously written... Uh, I guess this is like more of a European development team or some kind of international development team that works on this game. Uh, not to insult anyone's grammar, I mean, I can only speak one language or, you know, myself, so... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's definitely, um, a little funny. It's a bonus, I think. I think it's actually fun to have that weird text in the game. It added a little bit of color <laughs> like this lady wants, um... To actually reading the text and it made me laugh it did <laughs> so yeah, leave it in if you want or if you want to have a more refined look to the game just uh, fix it <laughs> so yeah the lighting definitely needed fixing the text I can do with is just kind of a fun side bonus thing to kind of make fun of or get a kick out of campy kind of like so I thought that was interesting iron out the bugs and make it feel like there's a lot of um, upward progress maybe shoot i mean you could even add multiplayer to this kind of thing uh, <laughs> that'd be interesting build mansions i mean you can make them like it'd be really cool if you had like a, a mansion kind of flipper thing in this i know it's just a house flipper kind of game right now um but yeah they could use more assets in the game they got quite a few already but 
a lot of room to work with here. Very cool game. Very cool game for the simplicity of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and whenever House Flipper comes out, you know, you can check my uh, YouTube description for a link uh, on Steam. No ETA on the release date, I don't think, as of uh, recording this, but, you know, keep an eye on, uh, on out for it and see if it's something that interests you. And it's pretty cool, I think. It's pretty cool, I think. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.